Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. I will be laying out some cards to have a look and see at who is observing you from a distance, who has a romantic interest in you, Leo. So there will be an extended version. Uh, the extended will explore how and when this person could come forward with their feelings. Very, very exciting. Um, so you'll find that via the link below in the show more section. Please remember this is a general reading, but if you would like a private reading with me, my email is listed below in the show more sections. Otherwise, let's jump into it, Leo, and see what's coming up around this person, around your secret admirer. Okay, first card, you've got the strength card. This is you. This is very, very powerful. So this person already has a very strong uh, draw, uh, attraction, a very strong feeling towards you. They're drawn to you. Could also be a fellow Leo feeling this way. So for some of you, this person could be very similar to you um, because you share those astrological compatibilities. Strength card is someone quite strong-minded, I feel. Maybe well built, okay, athletically. Um, strength card could also indicate someone who does have quite a strong personality. They may be in a leader, leadership position in, in, in what they do for work, for example. Um, they may be an eldest sibling, they may be a parent, they may be in your senior position in the workplace. Uh, I feel like they're um, that they have strong, like authoritarian energy about them. Maybe they work in a place where. You know, they command authority type thing, maybe policing, law, uh, you know, something that they have like jurisdiction or rule over with the strength card, but strong sexual energy. So this person is very sexually attractive, Leo, um, and you find them very, very sexually attractive. And likewise, they are very, very attracted to you. Okay, the seven of cups, this is a bit of water energy, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Uh, the Seven of Cups, for the most part, is, is a scattered energy. Not necessarily in this deck, though, because you can see that they plan something here together. Okay, and their cups, you know, are um, are about them, but they're not, they're not fallen over. They're stacked up very nicely. So I feel like this could be someone who is quite well organized. I think it's someone that could be well organized, to be honest. Emotionally, I feel like this person... You know, they've got their stuff together, okay? I don't feel like they're very frazzled. I feel like they know what they want romantically. They know who they want. Um, you know, they aim high. They aim big, okay? Uh, I like this. I feel like this is someone who likes a challenge. You know, emotionally, this person could make a good partner. They could be very supportive. You may be quite different. Maybe you do things differently. Maybe one of you is more about the imagination. The other is more logical and tries to apply reason, but it works. I feel like there would be emotional compatibility with this person. It could be that they are in a relationship. They may have someone next to them, but it's not a strong, um, I'm not getting a strong, like it's not a lover's embrace type thing. So maybe it's just, uh, they've started to see someone maybe. Or emotionally, something's not there for them. Um, but I feel like, yeah, emotionally, they've got their stuff together. I feel like there's emotional maturity about them so far, Leo. Very nice. Okay, the Queen of Wands. This is more Leo energy. This is very powerful, Leo. I'm beginning to think this person is destined to come into your experience. The Queen of Wands is someone quite um, adventurous, open-minded, very talented at what they do. A little bit competitive. Um, they could be musically inclined, okay? They may enjoy music. They may have some sort of creative talent uh, that they do or that they're known to do. They may have an element of fame about them. Maybe it's the industry they work at. Maybe people know their name. Maybe they have some sort of reputation. I think it's a good reputation, though. So they're a person of good rapport, which I like. They have the respect of other people, okay? So they're a very respectable, feel like they've got dignity, that sort of energy around them. But a high energy, okay, and uh, quite a highly, uh, I, felt like, I feel like the Queen of Wands, she's quite sexual, so maybe they have a high sex drive, Leo. And you'll definitely be able to keep up because I think you'll be crazy about each other. <laughs> very nice to see. The two of you will be very busy together, I think. Um, but look, Queen of Wands can be someone who is an opportunist, but they're a realist at the same time, which I absolutely love. 
Okay, we have the Four of Swords. This is a bit of air energy. Um, the Four of Swords can indicate leisure. It can indicate peace or meditation, um, retreat or rest. Uh, so it could indicate that this person may enjoy to meditate. It could indicate they have um, peaceful thoughts, peaceful intentions towards you. It could also be that they dream about you fairly often, Leo. Uh, fairly often, you know, you've come up and they're reading a few times. So it could be that they dream or they wish to have someone like you in their life romantically. Um, but the Four of Swords can point to a calm energy. So I feel like they may be competitive. They may be intense, but for the most part, they, they do have a calmer, more quiet, more peaceful side to them, which I like. Uh, they could also work with leisure activities, leisure with leisure facilities, maybe travel. Uh, maybe they, they, they are well-traveled or they, they have been privileged enough to be able to travel fairly often and, and take that leisure time. Could even be that they're semi-retired or even work part-time. Maybe they don't even um, work full-time. Or it could show that this person is in a period where they need to slow down or they may be slowing down a little bit in life. Maybe they've done other things with work, with relationships, and now they're, they're coming into a more quiet period. But in terms of communication, I don't think you've had the opportunity to connect with this person. They're either not around you now, Leo, or they have been around you, but communication has always been quiet. Perhaps you haven't even exchanged more than a few words together, whether online or in the physical Okay, five of pentacles, this is earth energy, bit of a mix around this person element wise. The five of pentacles can be uh, neglect. It can be shutting ourselves off from things. I actually want to say that you might have initiated something with this person, Leo, but this, they weren't ready. In fact, they might have been your secret admirer. And maybe they turned you down or they gave you signs. They gave off this energy that perhaps they weren't interested or perhaps there was something else going on around them. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, Leo, if you have come forward to this person and it didn't work out and the connection went quiet and you sort of left it. But they haven't forgotten about you. They still think about you or they still hope there's something here to work with. If that's not what the Five of Pentacles is representing, it can indicate someone who doesn't take no for an answer. So they're quite persistent in a way, even pushy, okay? So it really just depends how they will come across to you and what they will say and, and, and effectively how they will communicate. But it could show someone that's neglected love for money, for career, for other things in their life. But I feel like um, they neglect other people. I think other people have shown interest in them, but for some reason, they just have turned them down. I think they receive messages, but they've turned them down. Um, I also feel like, I think this is more into the, the extended reading. It could spill over, but there might be something about a rejection here. I don't know. If this person was recently rejected by another person, I think it's by you, to be honest. Let's bring out one more card for good luck, Leo. Uh, okay, you've got let go. It sort of follows what I was saying with rejection and moving on or letting something go, walking away. Okay, this person might have recently gone through a breakup of some kind. They might have let go of someone emotionally. Okay, so they might have parted. Okay, because emotionally they weren't working. Now they've laid something to rest here, which could be a previous relationship. But I definitely feel one of you, uh, sorry, some of you Leo's watching, you have a history with this person. Um, and you've let each other go. Maybe you left each other's lives, you changed jobs, you moved neighborhoods, uh, you started seeing different people. There's, there's some sort of difference here. You went separate ways, different ways. Um, but letting go, I mean, it is the number nine, so it's the ending of a cycle, but it's also something new because the sword here essentially resembles the Ace of Swords, which is a brand new chapter. So but let's remember this chapter is, is require, we require courage in this chapter. We have to uh, fend off and fight off and, and cut away anything that's negative. So I feel like this person is trying to remove things from their life for you, Leo, and you're not even together. 
So clearly you have a lot of power over them because they're already trying to do a lot to impress you. Maybe they're trying to lose weight. Maybe they're kicking addiction habits. Um, you know, maybe they're going to the gym. Maybe they're taking an interest in, in, in what they know you're interested in. So, I mean, that's really quite flattering, is it not? So I, 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 I like this. I like what I'm seeing here. But I do feel like letting go, okay, this person has let go of something. Maybe you've let go of each other. That doesn't mean that emotion is not there. Look at all the blues, color of emotion. So that's not to say on some level they still don't feel something for you, Leo. So for those of you sitting here watching this, wondering if that person is still interested, even though you let them go or you rejected them or they rejected you, there's still something here. I feel like there's an element of unfinished business potentially between you and this person. I will leave it at that though and continue with your extended reading, Leo, um, that is available via the link below in the show more section. So hopefully there's something there that'll help you, uh, give you more insight into how and when this person could make their approach. Um, otherwise, if you were after a private reading, you know where to find me, Leo. So uh, take care. Lots of love and until next time, bye for now.